is up guys, George here. So today in this video we're going to discuss about how you can recover data out of a crippled iPhone, iPad or iPod. This is an extremely important subject because a lot of people told me in the comment section that they have such problems with their devices and they were unable to recover their photos, their messages and so on and so forth. And those are very important, unvaluable pieces of information that you don't want to lose. So we came across an application that was recommended to us. It's called iPhone Data Recovery. It's available for both Windows and Mac, and it is created by Tenorshare. This application has this website right here. And if you navigate to their website, you can directly see the CNET editor's rating, which is five stars out of five, and top 10 reviews, which is five star out of five. And also if you navigate to the reviews right here of this application, you can only see good reviews saying that the app is easy to be used and that they managed to recover the data. But, but you know what? I don't believe in such reviews because this is a website, okay? Is the uh, company's website. Why would they put a review that says that the application doesn't work? Am I right? Of course. So I decided that, um, okay, I will review this application you recommended to me because they contacted me and recommended me this app for uh, data recovery. And I said, you know what? The people watching the videos I make on my iDevice channel uh, put their, their trust in my words and I have to present something that really works, something that, that simply works and will find their data back. So I, so I said, you know what? I'm going to test it. And if I test it and the app works, of course, I'm going to do a review because that's a good app. So uh, that happened a couple of weeks ago. And only today I had the opportunity to test the app because my phone got crippled, completely died. And by died, I mean that it only connects in uh, recovery mode. As you can see with the iTunes logo on the screen, I can't power it on. So what can I do? I started messing a little bit with this application and um, Trust me, it's better to mess a little bit with this app um, than to go to a store that provides you data recovery from devices and so on, because the, the uh, data recovery on store is extremely expensive, up to $100 and so on. And this app is extremely cheap compared with that. So I'm going to show you what's the, um, this app about. Okay, so keep in mind, this is a review. Uh, this is a review on um, an application recommended by the uh, creators, but this is a personal review in which I tried to make sure I present something good, not just because I'm making a review. So keep that in mind, you have my word, this app worth it. So at first my device is connected. The application decided that it would be great to show me that I can exit the recovery mode or I can fix the device. What means fix? It means restore. If you click right here, you will start to restore your iPhone with the latest firmware. So um, it can download the firmware for you and you can restore it. And you're going to say, but wait, I'm going to lose everything. Uh, nope, you're not going to. It only updates to the latest available. So this one updates. Uh, this one on the advanced mode will delete everything, but don't worry. So I got my phone right here. It says we detected that if the uh, iPhone is functioning abnormally and I'm going to click yes and exit. In your case, it might work with simply exit recovery. If the phone is extremely crippled and the operating system itself was destroyed due to the jailbreak, due to whatever, you can click fix iOS. It will restore your device, but you will be able to get your information back later because at that stage, you can't really do anything much more. So if you don't have an iTunes backup, you're kind of stuck. And we want to see if we're able to get the information we had on this device. The uh, iPhone itself, I'm going to say repair, uh, the iPhone itself was restored with iTunes to the latest version, which means that it no longer has any information into it. Everything it, it was on the device might be lost by now. So I want to see if I can recover it with this application. You know what's the good thing at this application? Compared with other applications on the market, it provides you the opportunity to first see if you can recover things before you can pay for, um, for a license. So that's extremely good for multiple reasons. And that's because the app is $50 from what I know. 
and you can uh, you can have it right here. You can see it is uh, it has now a um, a cut from uh, one hundred dollars to fifty nine. This is extremely good. And trust me, when you're trying to recover something uh, that is invaluable like your photos, buying a one time uh, lifetime license to this application is good. So. If you don't want to pay for the application, you can simply start a scan. Scanning is free and you can see if the application is able to see your data. If it is, then if you want to recover, you can pay for that. But keep in mind that there is no free alternative of this application. I tried a lot of apps because I wanted to make a uh, transparent review and I, I simply tried every app that says recovery that I can find. And this one is the best because this one was the only app that was able to detect things in depth. So I have a couple of photos in this device. I have a couple of dummy messages, for example, recover me, please, just for the sake of this video. But I want to make sure I can recover them. So after the scan is complete, that will depend, of course, on your um, on how fast your computer is and how many data you have on your computer, you can see that it detected my messages with recover me please and this one that was deleted, a copy of it. So what, what can I do now? Okay, I paid for the application, I got my messages back, I got my photos back, but how can I recover them? This little button right here does something important. I'm going to choose this item right here click recover and it gives you two important things. Recover to com the computer, this is something that any application can do, but recover to the device, this is something important because it lets you simply put the lost data back on the device. And I'm going to simply choose this one. I'm gonna say, okay, I'm gonna do that. And it should do that. Recovering and transferring your data to your device, please wait. Of course, it might take a couple of seconds and that's, all up to the application, but it works. There we go. It says recover, recovery complete. To ensure a successful data import, the device will restart automatically. They have a uh, kind of typo right here. So the device will now reboot. This is important and it will say the device is disconnected. That's okay. And the phone will simply restart. I want to see if now I have the messages. If I do, then that message should not be uh, striked with a red line anymore. It should be with black text. Okay, so I was able to do it. It restarted. It showed that little progress bar. It shows every time you restore it. And my information should be back on. I'm going to start scanning again to try to recover my photos because usually photos are extremely important from, for everybody. And that's the point of the app. It can recover photos from photo stream and so on. So I have a couple of notes here, let me see. Yep, it can see my notes. I have a reminder. Yep. Yep. And my photos. There we go. Now keep in mind those photos were deleted at that time and we, we also restored the device and we can still recover these photos with no hassle. So, um, yep, I got my message back and it's here. Let me see. Yes, everything seems to be all right here. Uh, we have the calendar and we also have the photos. I want to try to recover those photos to the computer now. Recover and um, I'm going to, oh, all right, that was fast. And as you can see, I got all my photos from the device, the photos that are supposedly deleted from the device, I got them back. Now, it's important to try to recover your data immediately after you lose it, because if you put data back on the device, it will overwrite the memory and the chances to recover it are slim. But if, for example, I lost the data right now and I connect it to the app right now, it will work. So, yeah, this is pretty much it. I, I think it, it really did a great job. But what about the uh, iTunes backups? Well. I'm going to click yes right here and as you can see I have an iTunes backup and this is a good feature of this app. You know it's a free in one. If you click here it will start scanning the backup and will detect automatically what is contained inside the backup. I made the backup of course of this device and as you can see I'm able to also recover things 
from the backup, which is clearly good. What about this cloud out here? This cloud lets you connect to your Apple ID and your password to iCloud and you will be able to get um, information from your iCloud backups. That's that's okay. And here you can repair your iOS device. It's that feature to simply restore it. Restoring it again means either updating or completely erasing. And I recommend updating. But all in all, this application did a great job. It scanned my device. It managed to get my photos back. And as you can see from here, it did a great job. I'm going to show you the picture. The picture is are, uh, extremely big. This is the actual quality of the camera, not the problem with the program. And you can see I was able to get everything back from the phone, which is extremely good. And as I said, the application can be found right here on this website. It's available for both Mac and for um, Windows. You can get a free trial if you don't want to buy the application to see how it works, if it can get your data. So all in all, Yes, the reviews are true. You can really get everything back with this application. And you can also fix your recovery mode bootlop. That's extremely good. This is it, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope this application will come in handy for you. The links for the app are in the description. And till the next time, I'm Joe Snow. You are watching iDevice Central channel. Peace out.